Hey, what's going on guys? Rick from Mark 7 Reloading and Lyman Products. Today, I'm here to go over one of our auto drives with you. As you know, Mark 7 has the most advanced automation in the industry. Today, I have the auto drive for the Evolution and Apex 10. Today, we're gonna go over calibration of this auto drive, the features that come standard on all of Mark 7's auto drives, as well as what I mentioned before, the digital sensors that are installed and how to use them. Apex 10, it's powered on, it's ready to go. And the first thing we do on all Mark 7 auto drives is calibrate. So what we're gonna do is on your home screen, press the calibrate button. And what that's gonna do is initiate the press to home itself, allowing it to find its upper and lower limits. Now our digital motor is smart enough to know where it is at all times. Let me show you. If I jog the tool head down about halfway, hit end cycle. The tool head will then move to the bottom, allowing it to complete the stroke before moving up to its top position. Another key feature to our digital motor is our digital clutch. This allows the user to set a value between zero and 20. If the motor senses that it's exceeding that set value by the user by applying too much torque, it's going to stop the press immediately. You can then jog your tool head up, clear your malfunction, hit end cycle, and continue loading as normal. This adjustability is critical whether you're sizing, priming, or loading, as all of those scenarios require different amounts of torque. This Mark 7 auto drive is capable of speeds of 1,000 up to 3,500 rounds an hour, so you can tailor that speed to fit your loading situation. All of Mark 7 auto drives are capable of on-the-fly adjustments. You can adjust your overall speed, you can adjust your index speed, your top dwell, your bottom dwell, as well as your bottom slowdown. Mark 7 Reloading offers a full line of digital sensors that are all available individually. This machine is equipped with all of them. Let me go over them with you. First, we have our decap sense. What your decap sense is looking for is a spent primer to pass by during every stroke. If the sensor does not see a primer, the machine is going to stop immediately. Next, we have your swage sense. Now, all Mark 7 presses are equipped with swaging standard. When swage sense is added, the press is able to detect a ringer as well as a primer pocket obstruction. This is critical to make sure the primer pocket will accept a primer prior to the priming station. Another great use for this is, say for example, you're loading 45 ACP large primer and a small primer gets mixed in. This sensor is going to detect it and stop the press. Now next we have our primer orientation sensor. The Mark 7 primer orientation sensor probes every primer pocket in the station after primer insertion. It's sensitive enough to detect an upside down primer, a primer too deep, too shallow, or not present at all. Next, we have our digital powder check. This sensor is located after the powder drop station and it checks the powder charge. It's capable of detecting an over or under powder charge. Included are macro and micro sensor rods for sensitivity adjustments, as well as four powder rods to work with small pistol, large pistol, small rifle, and large rifle applications. The last sensor we offer is our bullet sense. This sensor is used to ensure a bullet is properly placed when a bullet feeder is being used. This is critical to ensure proper bullet seating. All Mark 7 sensors are available individually, as I mentioned before, and also they're all adjustable on the fly, so you can turn them on or off whenever you want. Uh, an example of that is if you are using once fire brass and you're switching to new brass. There's no need to remove your decap sensor from your machine. You simply turn it off on your tablet. Mark 7 also offers a full suite of sensors for the Dillon 650, 750, 1050 and 1100 platform. Mark 7 also offers a full line of digital sensors for the Dillon 650, 750, 1050, and 1100. There's videos on those as well. Hope you guys can check them out. And I hope you guys can see truly how advanced Mark 7 automation really is. If you'd like more information about these auto drives or like to purchase one, check out mark7reloading.com. Till next time, guys. Have a good one.